So I'm on the um, Juvia's Place um, website and this is called the I Am Magic Velvety, Fa uh, Velvety Matte Foundation. Um, it retails for $20 and it is, uh, it says uh, take a trip around the world with Juvia's Place and our brand new I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation formulas from Sudan to Marisol are 42 expertly formu formulated shades are globally inspired for long-lasting all-day wearability. I Am Magic uh, Velvety Matte Foundation was designed for all skin tones from the deepest dark to the fairest fair. Live your magic with Juvia's Place. There are 42 shades uh, in the range. It actually starts with the um, smallest number of shade. It's actually the darkest shade in the range. Um, and I picked up the shade 650 Alexandria. I actually had to order mine online because I kept going back to my local Ulta and they didn't have it. I actually called about three other Ultas that are around me and no one had my shade. So I just ordered it online. And then with the concealer, I, I actually picked up the concealer the other day and I was waiting to find like my correct shade. And they actually went to, I went to my local Ulta and they actually have a complete setup for Juvia's Place. Um, which is pretty cool. I mean, they're actually like, cause they, they used to have it like in this like cardboard thing and they were like in the middle of the store and now they actually have like a proper like place where they can have like their um, products. And I picked up my concealer in the shade 20, um, which I don't see like an actual name. So it's just in the shade 20, which is, it's a pretty big like concealer, the, the packaging. So I'm going to be prepping my skin. Um, I am going to be using my ultra hair cream uh, intense hydration for dry parched skin um, and I love this one this is from a beauty first a beauty and I just this is like my favorite moisturizer ever I'm gonna grab a little bit of coffee which is a little bit cold now because <laughs> I I don't know I took forever to do my arrows today I was watching I started watching criminal minds um, I was talking to one of my coworkers this morning and I don't know how we ended up like talking about like criminal minds and I was like, oh yeah, like I met um, Reed, Dr. Reed, which he's like the um, the genius in the BAU, and like I was so in love with him. <laughs> he was like my crush, and uh, I remember I saw him at Disneyland, and I took a picture with him, and we were just talking about Criminal Minds, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna start watching it when I get home. So I've watched like five episodes already, <laughs> and I was like, you know what, like I need to get to filming, but let me just finish this episode and then I'll start like filming so yeah like always I'm gonna use my milk grip primer and place like I said I grabbed my foundation in the shade Alexandria 650 and it comes with a little like squeezy tube so you actually have to like I squeezed it and it came out um, so you have to like squeeze it it's a really thick foundation um, and I heard like it's like extremely, extremely high coverage. So I think I'm going to just go a little bit. I'm going to zoom you guys in a bit more so you can actually see the texture of my skin. As you can see, I have redness right here on my cheeks. That's actually something that I'm, I don't know why I'm really self-conscious about. So like my cheekbones right here have a little bit of redness. Um, actually my skin is doing pretty good at the moment. I don't have a lot of like breakouts or imperfections dot this on my and yeah, as you can see it's extremely um, thick and as always I'm going to be taking my favorite sponge which is the elf wow wow which is the elf uh, total complexion I used so little foundation and that literally just covered my whole like half my face and like that match damn that like matched my neck perfect I am so surprised okay um definitely covered my redness as you can see definitely covered my imperfections um it does look a little bit heavy on this skin i actually don't feel like i'm wearing anything so it's very lightweight it obviously looks like i am wearing foundation definitely um it did cover my redness like i said it doesn't look cakey but it definitely looks like I'm wearing foundation. You know, I am just hoping that it actually lasts through like my work day. Cause this coverage is amazing. 
I haven't added any other product, so I'm just taking that and kind of like blending it all over my face. Okay, so I just grabbed a tiny, tiny bit of foundation and I'm going to work it on my forehead. I always get foundation on my hair. Okay, so this is the foundation after kind of like the first application and as you guys saw like I didn't use a lot of foundation which is gonna be really nice because I mean it's not expensive foundation it's only $20 which I find really like good price because it has such a high coverage that that foundation is probably gonna last you quite a long time to be honest the I am magic concealer um, it says experience the new I magic liquid concealer from Juvia's place designed to give you a full range of weightless coverage across 24 unique shades Formulated for all skin types and tones, live your, live your magic with Juvia's Place. I did pick this one up at Ulta and it was $14. So it comes with a doeful applicator, which is kind of big. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to conceal under my eyes and kind of like highlight my face. I'm going to take this on my lid just so that I can use it kind of like as an eye primer. This shade, it actually matched me really, really nice to be able to conceal as well as highlight my face. So the concealer blended out perfectly with the foundation as expected. Um, I don't see any creasing right now. I always set my under eye because I do have like um, lines underneath my eyes. So I'm going to definitely set this, but as of right now, it looks really nice. I do see it kind of like sinking into those lines a little bit, which I mean, it's understandable because I do have a lot of lines under there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set that because I don't want it to like keep creasing. I'm just going to go ahead and set my face and I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me powder to set this foundation in place. Now that I did put that powder on top, I do notice that the foundation kind of like, I don't know if it started like separating right here. And also like my concealer looks a little bit kind of like cakey. It definitely looks like it's separating right here. Like right underneath my eyes right here. I don't know if it's because of the powder that it may be like a really heavy like powder but I don't see that happening on my forehead okay so I'm not sure if you can actually see but like right here on my nose you can definitely see it right here it kind of like separating as well as right here but on my eyelids like it looks like that as well it looks very dry which again I don't have like dry skin and I did moisturize before so it's a little confusing that it looks my face looks very very powdery and this usually doesn't happen with other foundations so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and see if that actually like helps a bit so we'll see okay so I turned down the brightness of my camera a little bit so you kind of see kind of like where it's separating so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm gonna use the morphe um, continuous setting mist I'm just gonna set my face so that I can see maybe the powders like set in place so I'm gonna go and finish my whole face and I'll be right back kind of like uh, with the time as far as like what time I finished doing my full whole face and how everything blended out and yeah I'll be right back so as you can see I already finished my face and I did finish my face I want to say kind of like in I want to say like 35 minutes ago um, I was doing another like first impression of a mascara so I don't know which video is gonna go up so I'll look it up here if that already like that video already went live I'll look it up here I did change my lenses this is the kind of like the blurry background um, and it because I was doing the other video so like might as well just left that um, that lens uh, but as you can see kind of like my face looks really good from afar now if I were to like look up close the foundation still um, ended up like separating right here like really bad like it actually like you can actually see like my real freckles right here and I don't like that and then my concealer okay so I was doing the mascara review and I definitely saw how even though I set my concealer it definitely started like 
um, sinking into my really fine lines under my under my eyes and for example on this side it's like you can definitely see the lines with the powder like the powder and the foundation didn't or the concealer didn't like sit well you don't like how it looks <laughs> I mean that's just I don't know yeah it may have to do with the powder but I haven't had any other problems with any of my other foundations not with the pure one or the stay naked foundation um, or even my like holy grail which is the NYX uh, can't stop won't stop foundation I've never had any problems with it separating the way this one did it's currently 12 p.m. and I need to head to work um, and then I have to run a few errands after that so I'm gonna have like the foundation for a good like eight hours at least um, and I'll definitely like check in with you guys and see like how well it like lasted throughout the day um, I had to turn down the brightness a little bit because it was a little bit too bright and I actually want you guys to see kind of like how my face looks I mean from afar it kind of looks good um, I definitely see my redness peeking through right here my nose I mean it looks really like extremely cakey actually like my entire face looks really really cakey right here like just excuse my inner corners my allergies were like killing me and I just kept like like just scratching and like you know with my eyes it was just really like my allergies are really bad right now so right now it's currently 10 54 so I did wear this foundation for almost 11 hours my chin I have no foundation whatsoever like it's not there my nose there's like nothing it looks extremely cakey like even if I was wearing this foundation for like 11 hours like I wouldn't be able to come here and just put a little bit of powder or like use like blotting paper and just call it a day and like head out the door again like I couldn't do that because my foundation looks like it doesn't look good at all as you can see like it looks really really cakey my nose I have nothing on my nose nothing on my chin um, and it looks like really really cakey like on these areas but yeah as you guys can see not the best looking foundation I mean for me I think I'm gonna just wear that foundation on days that I know I'm not gonna like I don't depend on the foundation looking amazing for a lot of hours because I don't think it's like long lasting which it was one of the claims and maybe I'm gonna give it a try with another powder and see how that goes so that's it for this foundation review I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there as always the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media and until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye